Hello, good day. My name is Don Ward, and we're going to be dealing with deployment in this video. Now, Windows Deployment Services basically allows network based installation of either Windows 7, Vista, and Silver 2008 remotely to bear systems on the network. So, to begin, you want to go to Start, Administrative Tools, and you want to go to your server manager now you want to go to roles add roles and hit next and you're going to select windows deployment services next again just the introduction here you can go through that next and install now we're just going to wait on this to finish install here now when that successfully installs what you're going to do is go to your administrative tools and you should see windows deployment services as a selectable option now so you're going to select that go down to servers as you can see here you're going to have to configure the server just want to make sure you have the these here in order so you click next leave this part of the default now you're gonna get an error because you install into the C drive when you're supposed to install to a separate disk but seeing as this is a test environment you're gonna leave it at the default now you're gonna select these if you have DHCP up and running and I do so I will check both options I'm gonna respond to all and finish and you just wait on this to finish configure now when that finishes you're gonna just close and we're going to need the boot files from windows 7 or vista or whichever os you're going to be deploying so in order to get that into virtual box i mounted windows 7 to a virtual drive on my desktop now in order to get access to that within VirtualBox you're going to go to devices shared folders and you're going to find the folder part which would be under my computer cd drive g and click ok and you set it to read only ok ok now in order to gain access to this file here you're going to have to go to the network VirtualBox server g drive just wait on that to access uh, you're gonna search within these folders for dot uh, wim file those files are basically image files so you're gonna select both and hit copy now with both these files copied you're gonna go to my computer local to C and the remote install folder which was created it's just gonna paste them right there I'm just gonna take a little while so I'll just pause the video till it completes now with these two files copied here what you wanna do is go back to your server here and right click boot images click add boot image you're gonna browse and here you are, here's the remote install folder with the boot images now you're gonna select boot.wim hit open next and it's gonna ask for a name I'll just leave it at the default hit next next again and wait for it to add the image now with that complete what you wanna do is go to the install images um, you could rename this to whatever you want I'll just leave it at the default and you're gonna browse to where you have your install.wim open that hit next and these will be what will be available in the, within the install so I'll just leave all as default and hit next next again and I'll just wait for this to complete now with that completed what you want to do is hit finish and here will be the available installations to be deployed now to test you want to go to virtual box you create a new vm just call it win 7 deploy 
and we're gonna hit next and you just create it as though you create a normal virtual machine um, we're gonna check the settings first of all you wanna go to system and enable network as part of the boot order but we're gonna set that first uh, for the network we're going to use the internal network and these settings seem to be correct here now we'll go back to display system you're gonna see network as an option now in order for this here to be available you're gonna have to download an extension for VirtualBox and this is because the current drivers don't allow for the PXE boot now in a real world environment you wouldn't have that problem but putting into VirtualBox you're gonna have to download the extension so you're gonna hit OK and you're gonna start it uh, when this starts you go, it's gonna ask for an ISO to boot the operating system but seeing as we're gonna be using the network you're gonna hit cancel and allow it to ask for the network boot we're just gonna wait on this Okay, so upon trying to deploy Windows 7 onto the bare computer, I ran into an error which dealt with the extension for VirtualBox. So, to continue this video, I'm going to just wrap it up with a few pictures. Now, in this first image, you can see the Windows deployment services now starting as the normal installation for Windows. Here you can see the selection for which version of Windows you want to install, which instance of 7 that deals with the images that we assigned, as you can see here within Windows Deployment Services. Here it waits for the server, and as it connects, it installs just as normal, only in this case, it would be via deployment. I hope this video was informative and thanks for watching.